Let's see. Here we go. Star review with pumpkin. All 70 plus cards. Here we go. All right. First card we have pack. This is a neutral spell. Boost a unit by six and give it doomed. Um, yeah. Uh, it's okay in lippy decks. You can banish a card so you never have to draw it later. It's all right. Uh, I'd probably rate this three star. Um, I don't think it's a meh card. I don't think it's a bad card. It's a six for four. Uh, froth, Golden Froth is seeing play in decks, and that's a six for four. And it's conditioned on three unit. This is an easier condition to pull off. So, yeah, I, I think it's a fine card. It's not bad. It's not OP. If this card was boost seven, it would be broken. Um, yeah, not bad. Six for four. It's a good card. So it's a pretty decent card. It will see some play. Yep. Three stars. Will O the Wisp. Zero star CDPRY. Uh, this card's trash. Um, if I could go negative one star, I'd go negative one. I don't know why this card exists. Literally, the only reason why I have a zero star on this rating thing is because of this card. It should just be zero star will of the wisp. This card, I don't know why CDPR printed this. Uh, when I saw this card initially, I asked him why, and yeah, I don't know. Um, it's like poison except worse because the ordering matters. You have to play. Doomed a unit than this. Maybe Salvola's auto include and you destroy Salvola. Yay. Uh, you could play this with. We'll get to it in a bit, but I'll show it now. Fortune Teller. Fortune Teller, you can give a unit Doom, so you could do the two. It's like neutral poison, except just play poison. Yeah. Um, also, if your opponent doesn't play any doomed units and you don't have Fortune Teller in your hand, it's a zero for five. Right? I don't know why this card's five provisions. At uh, four provisions, it would still suck. I I I don't know. Maybe Grey Swords is really popular and everybody's using Freya Res on Grey Sword and you play Will of the Wisps and you get to kill it because when you Freya something it's doomed. Uh yeah, I don't I I don't know. This card is just hot garbage. Next card, we have offering neutral card, damage a unit by one, death blow, play a bronze unit from your graveyard and give it doom. I actually think this card is pretty decent. I'd rate this a three-star card. Um, I, it's not included in most decks, but yeah, I, I think it's a three-star card. Uh, the decks that are going to play this, you can play this in Monsters if you're playing Arrakis Swarm because um, you're easily going to have lots of ones if you want to make more Griffins or I, shit. You could even do like a Ghoul or something. Um, Larva is obviously a card. In Gurney, you can do the same thing. In Gurney, making a sec right <clears throat> in round two or round three, you can play Gurney, spawn a fruit, play Offering, kill the fruit, and spawn two larvas. That seems pretty decent. Uh, in Spy Nilfgaard, this is the other place where it's going to see a good chunk of play. Voice gone. Yeah, my voice is already starting to disappear, which is really bad. <laughs> ah. um, if, in Spy Nilfgaard, maybe I'll just whisper. I can't lose my voice if I whisper, right? In Spy Nilfgaard, you can use this offensively to get one point spy, so it's just going to be no that's that's harder uh you're gonna kill one point spies because you're gonna be spawning uh one point spies a lot so bringing like a sedacious aristocrat or an enforcer is gonna be pretty good so yeah it'll, it'll see some play it's not bad next card we have red riders uh i should say northern realm monster card wild hunt spawn one frost spawn frost on an enemy row for four turns or spawn frost on both enemy rows for two turns uh it's a good card i'd rate this card It's like a 4.5. I, I, it's not a 5 just because in an all-out Thrive deck, you're probably not going to include it. It's a good card. It, it's a solid card. I'd put this... If, if we can't do 0.5, I would do 4. It's going to be included... Okay, I, I guess it's a 4-star card. Uh, it's going to be included in most decks. It, it's, it's a solid card. Uh, you don't even have to be playing a Frost deck. You can include this plus the new Queen of the Night. I, is that what it's called? Queen, uh, the the new four for eight. If you have two frosts, this immediately procs and you pull out a four. Uh, this card is just really good, really strong card. Yeah, sorry, Winter Queen, uh, or Lich Queen. Uh, yeah, it's it's a good card. I don't know if it's auto include, but honestly, maybe it is auto include. Maybe you play Winter Queen plus this card or two of these in every single deck, and you're just really happy. So, honestly, it could be a five star auto include card just because of uh lich queen um yeah it's a really good card 
War of Clans. It's an alright card. I think it's a three-star card. Uh, just because you do kind of want to have to play Devotion in this deck. Uh, if you're playing Devotion... I don't know. I don't, I don't know if Devotion will be good enough. But I think it's a three-star card. I don't think it's bad. It definitely has potential. Uh, they just buffed a card to make it a little better. You have five reach. Yeah. It, it's, it's a decent card. Uh, next card, we have Smuggle. Uh, actually, yeah, I'm not gonna... To save my voice, because it's already going and we're only, like, not even one-tenth of the way through. I'm not gonna say what the card is. You guys can read it. Um, most of you guys know what most of these cards do anyways, so... How good is this card? Uh, it's a three-star card. It's not bad. I don't think it's insane. Uh, it's pretty good in Gord. It's proactive. The Prophet 3 is pretty good with Piggy and Wholesome. Probably gonna see play in a, uh... What's it called? A swarm deck, and it's pretty good with the new Kong since Kong just got reworked. So yeah, it's not bad. Uh, you you do get the fire swarm card. Yeah, that's all right. Three star card. Uh, smoke them out. Warfare for Northern Realms. You can read it. Uh, it's good with the new elephant. It's good for a wide deck. Um, it's all right. I mean, it's not bad. It's not amazing though. Uh, it's good with the new boat card for Northern Realms, I suppose. Uh, I maybe it's it's like a two and a half. It'll see play in probably one deck. It'll probably see play in one deck. Um, so I, I guess it's technically three star, but yeah, it's probably a three star card. It's okay. It's fine. It's a six for five. It helps your deck out. You're swarming. It's good with uh, your boosting deck which you're already wanting to do so yeah it's all right it's fine uh amnesty this card <laughs> so in the deck that it's played in five stars right if you're playing this in a devotion deck it's a phenomenal card easy however it is not auto include in every deck so if we're going based on the ratings it's not a five star card because it's not opop auto include in every deck you only play this in a devotion deck right so i i guess it depends on how you want to do rating system if you want to do like star of the deck in a devotion deck i mean that's typically all devotion cards i mean we can basically pre-rate every card that has the word devotion on it every devotion card is a five star card in a devotion deck because it's a devotion deck and the reason you're playing devotion is for the devotion card so i, I guess we need a new five star category which is i'm not going to add it but basically if it's a devotion card it's a five star card just because the reason you're playing devotion is for these cards so devotion deck or maybe we give it a gold star. Gold star means uh, whatever. I don't know. Whatever. Uh, you, you understand what I'm trying to say. It doesn't really need to fit our, our rating system. If you're playing in a devotion deck, very good card. If you're not playing in a devotion deck, it's probably like a two. I don't even know if you play this in, um, in slave deck. Because in slave decks, you're typically playing like royal decree and marching orders. I don't even know if it fits into that deck. Uh, let me turn the music back on. One sec. I don't know where my music went. Sorry about that. So, yeah, uh, outside of Devotion, not a great card. Probably a two-star card. Uh, Circle of Life. This card's like... <laughs> oh, I don't know. So, it's like a two-star card. It's good in hand buff. The only way this card is good, though, outside of a hand buff deck, is because it has this word right here. It has the word nature on it. And that's actually a big deal. We got a lot of symbiosis cards um, this patch. So, or this expansion, rather. The more cards you play that have the word nature on it, the more value you get out of symbiosis, right? So, like, yeah, it's a five. That's shit. It, can you utilize the buff and get double in? Yeah, I mean, if you buff like an Aglice or a um, a War Dancer or what's the other one? A Skags, right? You're double upping on the value and you're getting like four instead, four value instead of the two. So it's like a seven for five, a seven for five good. Yeah, it's pretty good. You are contingent on draws. It is low tempo. But then on top of it, if you're playing Symbiosis, now you're looking at eight, nine, ten uh, for five, which is very good. So yeah, I... <laughs> If this did not have the word nature on it, I'd put it at, like, 
a one. Because hand buff is really gimmicky. Now hand buff's getting a little better, so maybe we push it to two stars. But because it has the word nature on it, and a specific symbiosis card, it's actually pretty good because it has the word nature on it. So many of these cards are not going to fit into the rating system, which really sucks. Um, oh, by the way, people are saying like War Dancer, Keck W. War Dancer is going to be a good card next patch. Just saying. You will be playing War Dancer in some Squirtle decks. Why? Because there's so many more buffs now. Explain? Yeah, I, okay. I mean, you don't have to believe me. You can find out in like 12 hours or whatever. 15 hours. I think War Dancer will see play. Uh, I think this card's okay. Uh, Nagel Fire's crew. Two. Um, oh, somebody gave it a five star in chat. Uh, I put this at a two star card. Um, maybe a three. I won't go higher than three. So maybe this card's absolutely insane. The place I see this in is in one deck, and that's a no unit monster deck. And a no unit monster deck, I think it's actually pretty good. Um, because. You get a body, you get an engine, you're doing damage, right? You're happy about all those things in a no unit deck. That's like pre this is like a premium card in no unit monsters. Uh, outside of no unit monsters, I don't actually know if this makes a cut in wild hunt decks. It does have the word wild hunt on it. Maybe you just want a shit ton of frost. And if you just want a shit ton of frost, then yeah, cool. Um, so yeah, maybe it makes a cut into wild hunt. I'll probably play it because it's a new card. Is it a good card? I think it's okay. Maybe, maybe I'll bump it to three. Yeah. All right, we'll, we'll do three star. We'll do three star. It's decent. It, it has like one and a half good decks. All right, we'll go one and a half. I mean GP. Thank you for the three months, sir. Hi, sir. Hope you're having a gold day. Yes, I am having a gold day. Mage Infiltrator. Um, good card for Bra Brothens. Having options is good. It's a really good card in Spy Nilfgaard. Um, you're going to play this in Spy Nilfgaard because it's a spy. Um, once again, it doesn't really work for my star rating system. It's a very good card in Spy Nilf card. It's easily like a four and a half star in that deck. The problem is, outside of a Spy deck, you're probably not going to play this. Huh? Is that even true? It's like a Darude Sandstorm for one provision cheaper. Well, you lose the body, or the negative body. I don't know. Maybe you even play this in, like, non-spying decks? Maybe? Probably not, but shit, it's four provisions. Like, it's good in, uh, what's it called? Uh, Shoop Nilfgaard? Yeah, actually, it's it's probably going to see some play. It's actually really good in Shoop Nilfgaard. Okay, may, I'll, I'll give this four stars. It, it might actually see play in non-spy decks. Maybe. If you're really looking for more removal. Maybe an enslaved deck plays this. Um, yeah, I, I think it's okay. Conditional five. Yeah, but you can kill larvas. That's pretty important, I would say. Yeah, it's not bad. I think I'd put this at four stars. Uh, Wandering Treant, token, token. Uh, Oak Critters. Gold star. It has the word devotion on it. If you're playing devotion, it's insane. Uh, it's a seven for four. Auto included in Harmony. Harmony has uh, sometimes a hard time hitting Treant. This does a really good job out of it. Uh, it does go wide, which, if you're playing New Harmony, is pretty bad, so... Um... Yeah. I don't... All, in All Out Harmony, it's... Like, ideally, you do opposite rows, but... Meh. Yeah. Um... Yeah, this card's good. Five stars. Five star in a Devotion deck. I mean, it's very simple. Are you playing Devotion? Yes, include the card. Are you playing Devotion? No, don't include the card. So the card's either zero card or five star, depending if you're playing Devotion. So... Gold star. Uh, token, token. Carrick City Guard. Um, I think this is actually a four-star card. Ah, three-star. Right, we'll do three-star. I don't like four-star. So the reason why a lot of people look at this card and go, oh, it's garbage. It's like a shitty uh, movement card. Why on earth would you ever play this card? Order on movement. Holy shit, that's terrible, Pumpkin. When you want to play Order, you just you want to move then and there. You got to gotta react immediately. Yeah, that's not what this card is for. 
The order is a debate. You don't look at the order part. You don't care. It's just, it's an engine. It gets boosted plus one and it has veil. Yay. That's, that's what this card does. That is all it does. Um, the, the, all the text, it's a debate. If you look at this card as a bad dragoon, you're right. It is a bad dragoon. You're not supposed to play this for movement. You don't give a shit about movement. You play the card because you get value out of it. It's an engine. Uh, we have similar cards for, um, square tall, which is like whenever you only have an elf get plus one, it's that, but better obviously with the veil. Um, you can't poison it. It's like a magnet division. That's better. Um, obviously it's five provisions. So a little bit more expensive. Uh, can't get poisoned. Cool. Can't get locked. Cool. Uh, and then you have the extra flexibility later into the round. Maybe your opponent plays a roadlock card and you're like, cool, move. Um, yep, it's a good card. If you're playing all-in engine de deck, this card auto-include. Um, is it auto-include outside of engine decks? Probably not. But yeah, it, it's a solid card. It's much better than what you think. Um, yeah. Next card, we have Carrick Marine. <gasps> Devotion, gold star, seven for four. If you're playing Devotion, play the card. Uh, next card, Carrot Cutthroat. Wow! Another 7 for 4. Auto include and every- This is like a 6 star card. Um, this is- Yeah, I mean- Yeah, it, it's- This is obviously better, but yeah, I mean, if you're playing Northern Realms, you take this card and you slap it in, because it's insane. Yeah, and it's a bandit. Bandit's kind of cool. It means you can uh, you can hit this off of Gascon. So Gascon getting a little uh, ghost buff, which is kind of cool. Um, yeah, auto include every Northern Realms deck. Whenever you play Northern Realms, you go into the deck builder and you go four provisions. Uh, they're out of it card that gives two each, uh, two strength and two armor. Two. Uh, the melee, card. dude. I don't know the names of cards. The the four that pings for two on order. You add two of those. You add two of these. Right. Like this is this is just how you build an R. Just auto include four provisions. Um, very good card. Uh, angry mob deploy damage. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, if you're playing spy nerf card, play the card. Otherwise, don't. Uh oh, stars. Uh, stars. I mean, gold star. Or no, not gold star. I mean. It's kind of like Gold Star in the sense that, like, if you're playing Spies, it's pretty good. Uh, it's probably a three-star card. It, it's eh, it's a little better than decent, but it's not going to be included in most decks. It's just a three-star card. It's not bad. It's fine. Uh, the only I, this actually might not see play in Spy Nulf card, which is kind of crazy. Um, I explained with Vigo, you want to play three Spies and then two Engines for Vigo to consistently hit. If you're doing that, you're not playing this card. Um, spy nilf guard decks are actually pretty tight in terms of the bronzes, so I actually don't know if this sees play, but it is definitely a consideration. Um, it is four provision. Any four provision card that can get six plus value in this case, seven value is obviously a consideration. But once again, I, I don't know if it's going to make the cut. Uh, so we'll leave it at three stars. Guardian. Wow, five for five. Um, it has veil on it which is literally useless uh the only reason this card is good is it has the word symbiosis on it it's a two um i actually don't even know if this card i don't think this card makes the cut for symbiosis like there's this card and then there's this this card right you compare the two they're both five provision cards this card's insane the other card's complete garbage um this card needs to be four provisions i think cdpr messed up on this card um i don't think this card will see any i don't even know if I don't even know if I'd put this at two star. I don't I don't actually think this makes a cut in the symbiosis deck. Yeah, you want to play a lot of symbiosis, but you also want to play a lot of nature cards, and this card is just trash. I, I think this is a one star card. This needs to get buffed to four provisions for people to even consider playing the card. It's it's pretty bad. Uh one star. Squirrel! Like so originally I would rate this at a two star card, but because they keep printing more symbiosis cards, it's just not good. Squirrel. Um I'm gonna say three star. It's a neutral arbalist that allows you to banish. If you want to banish something or you need to tech for a meta, yeah, this does it. It's a solid card. Arbalist sees play from time to time. It's neutral. Yeah, three star card. Fortune dollar, another three star card. Uh, similar to Squirrel, you can banish cards uh, if you have to do it proactively. Uh, and giving a unit to Veil is actually pretty useful. Um, 
We have Thaw, which does this, but this is better because it's a unit you don't boost. This is a good card. Um, Three-star card. Yep, it's a good tech card. If there's a lot of poison in the meta, it's quite strong. It's a four-provision purify in that regard. Next card, Raider. I don't know. So if you've played SK, typically you want to win round one, always. Veteran cards don't really help you win round one. Um, however, with this being said, if you play this in round three, you're looking at a six that deals to A for five. Is that good? Yeah, that's not bad. Um, in a full warrior deck, I think you play this card. Yeah, I think it's a three-star card. Maybe even a two-star card. I do like 2.8. I, I don't think it's going to be included in that many decks, to be honest, but I could be completely wrong. Because um, in round one, this could easily play as a four for five, which is pretty bad. So, yeah, I don't know. I don't even know if I'd go two or three, rather. It's just like between two and three. It's okay. Uh, Drummond Villager this is a four-star card. This card's really, really good. Um, it might even be a five-star card. Um... So the reason being is, so you have to give bleeding to the right, so you, right? So, oh, it's a four for four. Well, there's a bunch of veil cards in SK, so you can essentially just negate the bleeding. You have Grimace as well if you need to. Uh, there's cards that can utilize the bleeding, right? They want to take damage, like say a veteran, not veteran. Well, yeah, Tersec vet. Um, so there's cards that can utilize this and kind of negate the bleeding. Um, bleeding four on an enemy is typically bad because your opponent can purify it. But once again, if they purify this bleeding, um, it means Rupture goes off, and Rupture is a really potent uh, status that we'll get to a little later, but basically insta-kills a unit if your opponent doesn't purify it. So I think this card's pretty good. Also, the armor is a mechanic that SK utilizes from time to time. I think it's pretty good. I don't know if it's a 5-star. If it's 5-star, it means there's another SK, another couple SK cards that really utilize this damaging card, but I'm going to put it at 4-star. I think it's pretty good. I think it's a solid card. Uh, Cleric, Flaming Rose. Good in a Wide Peepo Swarm Syndicate deck. Yep, three-star card. Outside of that deck, probably won't see too much to play. Fallen Knight, same thing. Very good in a Swarm Syndicate deck. Uh, it's actually one of the better cards for a Swarm Syndicate deck. I would make this, I would put this at a four-star card in specifically Swarm Syndicate. Um, yeah, but it's not going to be included in most decks. It'll be a three-star I would put this at three star, but in a specific deck, it's it's gonna be one of the the shining stars for that deck. Very good card if left unchecked. Lonely champion, another three star card uh, for Swarm Syndicate. I don't think this make or breaks the deck, but it's a nice tech card. Um, the way you utilize this card is you're gonna row cap. You use this to nom the card and keep going wide. In case they play something like Mata or it's a really long round, and you're gonna row cap. You draw too much Swarm. It's a good card. It prevents you from over capping and discarding. Yep. Mutants Maker. If you're playing Devotion, you play the card. Yep. So Gold Star, whatever. Uh, Carrick Frigate. Um, high risk, high reward. It's all right. With the new Warfare, I, I think it's a three star card. With the new Echo card, it's pretty good. With the new Echo card, it plays for seven with one armor, which means it's out of Stunning Blow on SK, which is really significant. Uh, makes it really hard to kill. Playing between two soldiers isn't that hard. I think it's a solid card. It's good for wide people and R. Yeah, I think it's I think it's playable. I think it's a three-star card. Uh, Mage Torture. I don't know. I, I don't know how to evaluate this card. Even a Spy Nilfgaard, just because, once again, the Spy Nilfgaard package, like the bronze core, is it's going to be really, really tight. Will this fit into it? Maybe. Um... I think it's a decent card. I, I, I'll put this at 3-star. It can be really good with Cut the Grass, but yeah. We'll see. We'll see. I, I think it's a solid card. 3-stars. Uh, Sedacious Aristocrat, 5-stars. Absolutely broken. Um, if you're playing a spy deck, this card's just stupid. They even buffed it. It used to have, uh, I think it was Devotion and it was 3-strength, and then they buffed it. So in its respective card, this is this is the shining jewel of the deck. Um this is why you play Spy Nilfgaard. This and Cut the Grass, which we'll get to. Card's insanely good. Uh, outside of Spy Nilfgaard, you're probably not going to play too much of it, obviously. Uh, Hamadryad. This card's really good. Um, 
I'm not going to say auto-include. You're not going to play this in Harmony. I put this easy four-star. This is probably the best four-star. Like, if there's a four-star card in the set, this would be it. This is the best illustration of a four-star card. Um, really solid card. There's a lot of um, other synergies that work with this. There's uh, Dryad's Crest. There's new Enchantress. There's um, the new Echo card. There's... Is that it? I, I guess there's Ida. Um, there's a lot of different ways to utilize this card, and it has the word Symbiosis on it, so those decks that already play spells, it gets even better. This card's just really, really good. Uh, you're not going to play it in a Harmony deck unless it's a Harmony Symbiosis deck, uh, but yeah, really, really strong card. Abandoned Girl? Uh, I, I don't know. It's like... Uh, it's like a two, maybe a three. It's all right. It's a four for four. The value of this card is you play it in a harmony deck. You get the harmony value. You flip it over. Yay, it's a dryad now. And then you could play another one of these and then get the human tag again. Cool, I guess. Just a four for four, five. Eight. Yeah, symbiosis. It's okay. I don't know. It's like, so maybe this is a good card like two expansions ago when Harmony didn't have that much support, but Harmony has pretty good bronzes. Harmony isn't like, oh, I hate this bronze card. I wish there was a better for provision, right? Like, I don't know. It's okay in Harmony. I just don't think it makes the cut. I, eh, I don't know. I'm not going to rate it at one star simply because... Harmony Symbiosis might actually be a thing. And then the Harmony Symbiosis deck, this card is actually really good because it procs your Harmony. It provides future Harmony proccing. And then on top of that, you get the Symbiosis. So in specifically a, a Harmony Symbiosis deck, this card is actually pretty good. But other than that, like exact deck, this seems pretty underwhelming. If this card was like five strength, okay. Then we could talk. But at four strength, nah. So we'll, we'll leave it at like one and an eighth, not one and eight, like 1.8. It's okay. Five point. Yep. Five start. Um, it's a Dragoon. This card's just, yeah. I mean, honestly, okay. So it's guaranteed four star, hundred percent. Is it a five star card? Honestly, monsters play drowners. And once again, I talked about playing red riders plus uh the new lich queen in every deck just because it's good enough this is really good with that right you get to play seven for five and movement honestly i don't know maybe it's not a five star but it's definitely better than a four star i would put this at like a 4.5 very solid 4.5 uh i would not be surprised if a mini frost package with Two red riders, two of these, and uh, queen gets auto-included into every monster deck because that's it's just a solid package. It's not auto-included in all decks. It honestly might be, though. Frost package, like, you just run those five cards and you're pretty happy. And it has armor, right? Like, it's just a good card. Four and a half stars, five stars, depending on whether or not frost package gets slotted into every deck. Very strong card. Uh, Taskmaster... Four stars. You probably include one of these in most decks just because Purify is good against poison. And yeah, you don't necessarily have dominance, but if your opponent's poisoning a big card, well, then you have a big card and you probably have dominance. So yeah, four star card. Uh, also, you can create into this with Oberon. Try second Vader. Veil Veteran. Seven for four in round three. Um... It's a three star card, I think. Maybe four. The only reason you go to four is like Warriors is really good. It's not bad. It's just once again, like, do you want to play a five for four in round one as SK? No. Five for like SK typically has like nut bronzes. SK is the nut bronze faction. This is not a nut bronze in round one. So it doesn't really help SK and what it's trying to do. So it's probably a three star card. Like, yeah, it's a seven for four in round three, but. SK cares about round one more so than probably any other faction, so yeah. The only other way this card like bumps up is if they create a card in the future which is 
proc all of your veteran cards, right? And then all of a sudden this is like a six or four in round one, which is good, uh, or playable, and then an eight for four in round three. So if they ever print that card, this card will be pretty good. Three star card, it's okay. Uh, Drummond Berserker. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about this card. Like it's a potential nine for five, which is obviously very good. It's another way to utilize the villager. Some people might put this like four star card. I... <sighs> so the problem with this card is spheres and amnesty. I think an amnesty um, spying deck with um, enslave is actually going to be pretty decent. If that card's going to be, or if that deck becomes meta, this card is absolute shit. It's just, yeah, I mean. Yeah, you just, it's so bad against Nilfgaard. Um, it's really good if your opponent just, like, ignores your board, but nobody does that. I don't know. It's okay. I'll, I'll put it at three stars. The, the reason why it's decent is because it has high value potential. But, yeah, I, I can't go higher than three. I, I don't think it's concluded in most decks, to be honest. Um... Devotion! Yeah, if you're playing Devotion, 5-star card, gold star, whatever. Fantastic card. 7 for 4, Veil, can't get poisoned. Phenomenal, proactive play in monsters. Uh, you can even play Portal for two of these if you're not playing a Devotion deck. Really strong card. Very good card. Card art's probably going to be sick. You can create into this with Oberon. Very, very good card. Oniromancy, 5 stars. Ah! Okay, it's not auto-include, obviously, because it's Devotion. So, no, it's not a 5-star card. Uh, we'll put it at three star. Maybe four. But here's the thing. I don't think it's going to be included in most decks. No Squiatel deck is going to run this except for a hand buff deck that's running All God or maybe a Gord deck. I don't even know if Gord plays this. I don't think it needs it. Um, Northern Route. Okay. Any Radia deck, auto include. Easy. If you're playing Radia, shoot. Easy. Um... If you're playing no unit monsters, easy inclusion. So in the decks that run this card, it's a star card. It's very, very strong. Um, yeah, so we'll do like three and a half. It's, it's going to be a solid card in the decks that want to run it. Um, yeah, it'll see play. Ardgaith. Um, it's a two star card. I, don't, I mean... I want to say three, but you can't tutor it. So Echo Card, you have to play in round one and two. You can't tutor this. If you could tutor this, I'd put it at like a three star, maybe even four star card. The fact that you can't tutor it is really painful. Very good in no unit decks because of uh, Oniromancy. Uh, it's it's good with the new um, Lich Queen. It's just, you know, you, you could just play Red Riders. So, yeah. If Lich Queen came out of Graveyard as well when you had two Frosts, then okay, now this card's insane. I don't know. It's like a two and a half, three star. Uh, the only other thing is if you're only playing two Red Riders and this, this allows you to get it out in round one, which is pretty good. So having three of those adds a lot of consistency. So uh, maybe it's a three star card. I, I, I could see Wild Hunt definitely playing this card. Uh, we'll bump it to three stars. It's okay. It's just like, I, no, do like 2.7. Do 2.7. So, the effect, five stars. Can't tutor it, brings it down to four stars. Um, if you could tutor it, insane. Can't tutor it, four star card. Uh, if you're playing a Swarm deck, this card is a 5-star card. If you're not playing a Swarm deck, you don't play this card. I mean, yeah, the end. Very good card in Swarm. 5-star card for Swarm. Uh, Auto-include in every deck. This is like 6 stars. Um, the only deck you don't play this in is Radia. Very good card. Absolutely insane. Shit tons of flexibility. Probably the most flexible card in the game. Just absolutely bonkers. Best card. Might even be the best card in the entire expansion. Insanely good card. Are you playing Spy Nilfgaard? Yes, play the card. Uh, Shaping Nature, three-star card. Um, 
A lot of people don't like this card. It's really good with this. It's a 20 point play, I believe, right? Five, 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 four, one. It's a 20 point play. You can do it twice. It's not bad. It's good in harmony, not harmony, terrible in harmony. It's good in symbiosis. It's good in Gord. Yep. Two star card. I mean, Okay, I mean, you can say two star. I, I think it's going to see more play than you guys think. It's three star card. I don't think you guys realize the flexibility of this and how important it is. But eh, it's okay. You'll find out tomorrow. Five star card. Probably one of the better devotion cards in the expansion. Uh, Ten for eight in round three with removal is just stupid strong. It's a muzzle in round three. It's better than muzzle. This card's insanely good. One of, prob might even be the best devotion card. Obviously, it sucks in round one, but after round one, it's good. It's a really good card. Very strong card. If you can, This is actually a pretty good reason to play Devotion. If you're playing Devotion, this card's insane. Ulrich. Five stars. Um, yep. If you're playing Swarm, it's a good card. The end. Um, another thing is Ulrich into this is huge. Playing Fallen Knight naked at four is pretty easy to kill. Uh, I believe, wait, it boosts the unit, right? Yeah, so playing it at six. Wait, does it count itself? <laughs> That'd be pretty funny. I don't think it counts itself, but who knows with coding, it's possible. If it counted itself, it'd be insane. But yeah, this card is really good at Swarm. Five star card. Ethereal, five star. Uh, I mean, okay, in its respective decks, it's a five star card. Um, card is stupid strong in monsters uh with arrakis swarm cards insane you can't kill it i mean you can kill it but there's always another one and there's always going to be two of these on the board like you literally can't remove this unless you have a philippa or a fally board with other order damage on board or you're willing to utilize a leader this card's just really really strong um just really good in gurney really good in swarm monsters just a phenomenal card great i love the card fantastic all oh, god I don't know. Probably a two. Yeah, probably a two. It, it's a niche card. I think it'll see some play though, and it probably will be one of the star cards for that deck. Um, I want to play it in hand buff Squatel. It's just I can't play Cuddlers if I play this card. So yeah, I don't know. In we're, we're gonna have to play the card. It might be insane. Who knows? I mean. If you play it in Skoyatel hand buff and you buff three units, which is not that hard, you have War Dancers, uh, Skags, Haglace. Um, you're getting four value for the two, so yeah, it's not bad. Five star card. Uh, I think Frost Package honestly might be auto included in every monster deck. It's just so good. It's thinning. It's, yeah, it's just phenomenal card. Five stars. Very good card. Probably another one of the best cards in the expansion. Um, this card's just nuts. Thinning, we, we love thinning. And one of the problems with weather in any deck is naked weather's not great because you don't have a body. Oh, look, a body. <laughs> uh, not to mention, if you're playing Devotion, you're going to have an extra Thrive, which is never bad. Very good card. Very, very good card. Um, I'm going to pre rate all these four sevens as four star cards. Very good cards. Uh, maybe even five star. Um, honestly, if you're playing any faction you just slap them in because worst case scenario it's a seven for seven with an armor it's just a good card uh honestly it might be five star yeah uh it's the type of thing you can figure out like if you have ta you can ta it. it's not going to die to poison very very good um yeah it's just really good against monster decks if they don't have a lot of removal it's just really potent uh, the armor is relevant if people are going to start playing weather. Yeah, it's just a really good card. Uh, we'll, we'll leave them at five star for all of them. Uh, Lieutenant Von Hurst. Really good in a horde deck. Five star card. It's literally a saw that goes wide. Very good card. Uh, will you play this in Swarm Syndicate? I don't know. So we'll, we'll leave this at four star. Uh, it's not auto include, obviously. Four star card. You missed a card? No, all of these are the same. They're all five star. Rather than, so Emissary got nerfed, so it makes this a 10 for 11, but I still think it's auto-include. It's still insane. Five-star card. Easy. Not card. Um, 
this is probably the best one out of all the four seven 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 with one armor immunity is just bonkers i'd play this in literally every deck in the game <laughs> i love immunity especially immunity that's well costed uh siegfried very good in pop tart monsters very good in beast sk um in those decks this is like a shining jewel it's not included in most decks, but where you, when you can utilize this five star card, very good. Um, so yeah, it, it'll be utilized. It'll be very very good in niche decks. So you can evaluate it like two star, five star, right? Five star in that deck, two star because of how much play it'll see. If you're playing frost, play the card, five star card. If you're playing weather, otherwise, I guess make it four. Four star card. Tarsek, um, SK is getting enough bleed that I think this card is good. I don't know. Even if you don't play the card, the card is still good, which sounds crazy. I've talked about this before, but basically, if you're playing a lot of bleed in your deck, if your opponent doesn't remove it, you get full value off of bleed. Awesome. If they remove it, you get full value off of this, which is insane. So... Also, the other beauty of this card is it's similar to Bork in that if your opponent ever passes and you play this card, you take the round every time. So, it, the, the power level of this card is very high. The fact that it exists is very good for other bleeds in the game. I think it's a 5-star card. And it's auto-included in every deck because you have to respect the card and you have to play around it. It's a 5-star card, honestly. Even though it's not real, It's auto... It's... Yeah, I don't know. The, the problem is... So normally I'd say it's a four-star card, but because people have to play around this, which innately gives your other bleed cards more value, it gets pumped up to a five card just for existing, if that makes sense. Does that make sense? Hey, Orphan Tears, how are you? So, four or five-star card. Yeah, it's auto-included in your opponent's brain. Yeah, so it's a five-star card from your opponent's perspective. It's a good card. Yeah, it has the influence of a five star card. That's a good way to put it. Yep. Uh, old Deco. It's a good card. Four stars. I don't know if it's five star. I don't. I don't know if it's auto included in every deck. I don't think it is. But in a engine deck, it's really, really good. Uh, getting zeal on everything is very, very, very strong ability. Four star card. Bellahun. Two star. It's good in a heavy engine Northern Realms deck, and that's it. Forest Protector, ding, 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 five stars. The only deck you don't play this is Harmony, but even Harmony, honestly, probably could play this card. Ding, 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 five stars. Card's absolutely insane. Uh, Devotion, ding, 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 gold star, five star. Yeah, if you're playing Devotion, you play the card. Master Mirror, uh, it's a fun meme card. Uh, I look forward to playing it. I look forward to rolling 12-point spear tips off of my four provision cards. It's a fun card. Uh, obviously, it's like a, a niche meme card, so this goes into the meme tier at two stars, but it's a fun meme, probably one of the better memes. So in terms of meme rating, it's a five star. Marlene, honestly, I'd probably put this at a one. I don't even know if I can give it a two. I don't think it's that good. Like, if I want to give it... Like, it's shit, dude. It's order. Like, if I want to give a unit veil, like, I'm just going to play Fortune Teller on deploy and have that extra flexibility. I don't know. This needs to have, like, another ability, which is, like... Like, if it was, like, give a unit vitality and veil. Or, like, vitality one and veil. Maybe. I don't know. It just seems pretty bad to me. Uh, Oberon... You're playing a Wild Hunt Devotion. I mean, <laughs> okay. Okay, uh, how do we want to do evolution cards? Um. Okay, so five star means it's auto-include in literally every deck, including non-specific decks. So I can tell you what the five star cards are. The two five stars that literally you there's no deck building requirement. You just take the card, you put it in the deck. If you build a Nilfgaard deck or you build a Syndicate deck, you take these cards and you put them in. They're 12 for 11s in round two plus. You're very happy. Auto include in every deck. The end. 
Um, four star is included in most decks. Uh, this is pretty good. Obviously, if you're not playing Devotion and you're not playing any Wild Hunt cards, it's like a three star card, but in its respective deck, it's actually really good. Um, playing this into Riders in round two is really, really strong. Playing this into the seven is really good. Um, also, you can double proc Thrive. So this card's really, like, this is just really good in Monsters. It's, don't read this message. This is like a four star card. Um, yeah, I'd rate it at four stars. So this is not auto included in every deck just because you can't, you're not necessarily playing Warrior in every deck, but in the decks that you're playing this card in, it's absolutely broken. It's a five star card. Uh, in terms of the deck you're playing it in, this is the best card. It's like a five star card. Um, doesn't really fit the requirement because once again, you can't stick it in any deck, but the power level of this is just dumb. I mean, another card that res is great sword and you get a six point body attached to it. And then on top of that, you can play this again with second win, which is just stupid. Uh, I honestly think this is going to be problematic for the game, but we'll see. We'll see. I, I think the card's insane. Very silly card in its respective Grey Sword deck. Uh, Northern Realms. Uh, one star. <laughs> Maybe zero stars? I don't know. This card's shit. <laughs> uh, maybe you can use it with Elephant and get an extra eight points, I guess. Okay, so in an elephant deck, it's good. Will an elephant deck be good? Probably not. All inning on elephant and going for 888, 1624 is kind of stupid if you don't have last say. So, it's a pretty bad card. Skip Syndicate? No, Syndicate's just 5 star. I'll include in every deck. It's just a bad card. Um, it requires you to have other shit on the board or for it to survive. It's just a bad card. Squatel. Um. It's not five star, it's four stars. In its respective decks, it's really good. Uh, it might be auto include just because maybe you actually play Symbiosis in every deck, but yeah, I'd put it at four star. Um, in an all out harmony deck, you don't want to play this. In a Gord deck, you want to play this. In a Symbiosis deck, you want to play this. Yeah, it's a good card. Good card, very good card. Uh, Fergus, four star card. If you're playing Spies, insane card. If you're playing Cut the Grass, insane card. Uh, maybe you play like an enslaved deck that plays obviously in uh, tactics and then you throw in something like this plus cut the grass, Joaquin, stuff like that. A little mini spy package. It's a good card. Four stars. Uh, Donnie is the other like transform on uh, this card. We already said five star card. It's going to be included in probably every deck. Yep. Oh, my voice is gone. Feels good, man. <laughs> 